Hey there, Sensei Mish here. It is Monday. Um, I haven't posted a Mondays with Sensei Mish in a while. Um, so, and, and by the time this airs, hopefully uh, this will be out of the way. This is my, this is my son's, the front of my son's Audi and some engine parts. So uh, that's what I've been working on uh, instead of making videos. So, or I've been trying to teach here and there, but the dojo, as you can see, is full of Audi. So, damn Germans. Anyway, so uh, uh, because I haven't been able to make one, I did find this one video that uh, Bram Frank and I shot uh, about a year ago, or last, last July, really. Um, and in the spirit of Bram's birthday, he's coming out here in about four weeks. Uh, we're about four weeks away from his uh, his uh, birthday camp. So uh, sit back and enjoy, and uh, I will be back in line. I should have all this back together uh, in the next couple days. So uh, enjoy. Hi, I'm Bram Frank. Of course, you guys probably already know that. But in case you don't, I'm Bram. What we're going to do right here is, this is a swim noodle. Uh, yeah, you know, you probably put it under your arm and swim. I want you to know I was with Sonia and Ryan, or my family, and I saw these people get in the pool with swim noodles, and I want you to know before that moment, a week ago, I had no idea that people actually really put swim noodles in the pool, because I don't use them for that. Um, I went to Publix to buy some once, and one goes, you must be a swim instructor, and I went, nope. We were buying all the swim noodles. I went, yep. So what do you do with them? I said, uh, I cut them. She goes, you cut them? I said, yeah, I'm a knife instructor. And when I teach the police and I teach the military, this approximates human flesh. It's resistance. And so it's really great for cutting. And it doesn't make a mess. And all the colors draining out of this lady's face. And she's looking at me going, oh, oh, uh, OK. And I said, well, thank you. And I bought the whole bundle. And of course, you know, by my fourth or fifth trip to the store, they get used to me now coming and buying bundles of swim noodles so we can cut them up. Plus, they don't make a mess like chicken. Yes, I used to cut chicken. I've cut meat. If you go on YouTube, you can see me cutting chicken. But then you got to clean your blades and you get all this chicken goo. Every... Anyways, we're going to cut swim noodles. And the important thing about cutting a swim noodle is I'm going to show you the advantage to my basic design of a blade. And I don't mean the actual cutting surface because cutting surface can be anything. You know, I have six basic shapes that I make now, a, a Persian, a Tonto, a Katana, a Spear Point, a Dagger, and a buoy. The actual cutting part's not important. It's what holds them what's important. And the reason I say that is all knives have an edge that cuts. The advantage to mine is what can I do from a closed position? So for me, closed, and I like to, what I call Pac-Man, and that's this, you know, wobble, 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 or, you know, wobble, 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 you must have seen it, and you know, when Pac-Man's going through the thing, or Mrs. Pac-Man, yes, I'm old, Pac-Man. If you know what Pac-Man is, and you're a millennial or something, one of those new generation guys, go look it up online, you'll see. But the idea being that I wanted a useful knife. Now, when I was a kid, my dad always carried a pocket knife, and he showed me how to cut wire. You go, I know something going, big deal. Well, see, wire has a plastic coating on top of fiber. And so, you know, when a wire breaks, you have to cut the coating, and you take the threads, and you do it on the other piece, and you twist them together. You put the wire tie or you solder them together. Now you have a whole piece of wire, and you put electrical tape on it, and whole piece again. Well, I would always have my knife out and I'd go to be cutting and cutting and I'd cut all the way through all the threads or there'd be one or two threads and I have to cut the whole end off and start over. Now to my dad it served a couple purposes because once I cut through enough of them then my dad taught me soldering of how to put them all back together and make all piece again. I didn't want that to happen. So with this on my knives I have teeth and the teeth are in here so they'll grab, and with my patented ramp, I can pick the blade up and control its depth so that I can put a piece right on the blade. I can set how deep I want it to cut, and I can sit here 
and roll and cut to a set depth and cut all the way around. And you see there's a hole through there and I didn't cut all the way through it. I can control the depth of my cut. If I had that when I was a kid, I wouldn't have had all those odd pieces of wire. So it allows me, again, to be able to pop it open, place it on the teeth, set it, and I go right next to the other cut, and I can sit here and roll it again to a set depth where I didn't go all the way through. One of the advantage, too, of my ring. Oh, let's try it with one of these. And I mean nothing bad about anybody else's knife. And I, oh, I can't quite just pop it up. But let's see. I could pick it up. Hmm. Well, I can sort of hold it here, and I can try to pinch it. Oops, uh, oh, oh, not too much pressure. I did it. It's pretty ooh, thin there. It's a little bit harder to control. Let's try this other one. Hmm. Okay. I can't just pick it up like a pair of scissors. Um, let's see if I pick it. Oh, this one's really smooth. So there's no... Oh, maybe I can catch it in here. Hold on. Let's see if we can... Oh, gee, I have to try to pinch this. And it's eating a hole in my finger right here. But that's okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, it didn't make a, a clean cut, but it, it we didn't really go all the way through. It, it, it sort of worked. But you can see, without ramp, which allows you to pick it up, you can't pack me in. And if you can't pack me, and with no jimping here, because I can put it on either arc and lock it on, and control how much of a cut I have. So the ramp, which I use for other things, like impact or trapping, actually works for, like I say, Pac-Man, or if I just want a scissors cut. So I can use it like a pair of scissors, and I can just go ahead and cut through, and that way, I don't have an exposed blade. If I want to open up a package, I can come way to the end, just slide it, just like a, um, a cutter, and cut through. It's easier on a piece of paper and open up like, you know, potato chips and that kind of stuff. But what I want to show you also is that the cutting, um, if you ever use the chef knife that doesn't have a lot of belly, you catch your fingers. And that's what the whole point of belly is, so you can arc it. And I used to go, I don't like big, big chef knives. Well, now I do, because, and I'm big by I mean have enough space between your hand and the table, because then you can roll. Well, uh, there's no roll here. There's no roll here. Oh, there is roll here because of the shape, but ah, the ramp. I can turn it upside down and it's designed to balance and it works the same with my fixed blades. Well, you have to pardon the table, we're on the mats. Normally that just stands, so you have to believe me, it's an almost balance, but we're not quite level here. These, on the other hand, hmm, ah, there we go. We got that one to balance, and this one's broad enough it balances, but notice there's no space. The advantage, okay, guys, you're retired. We're going to shift them off to the side a minute, is that I now have space here. So I reversed the idea of a chef knife with belly by giving myself space so I don't hit the table, I don't run into something, 
and I can look at my cut and I can cut right into where I was cutting and cut through and I have space I didn't hit the table I didn't hit my blade into the table and that's one of the problems with cutting down I could cut into it so with a, a bigger blade there's even more space and I have even a longer throw and I can do really simple slicing motions right here without running into the table. Now, you go, what's that for? Well, I could do it for cooking, I could do it for precision cuts, and again, I protect my blade, my knuckles, and what I'm cutting, and the difference being for me is I'm looking at the blade when I'm cutting, which means you can be looking right at it, and I can see and watch what I'm cutting into and where's the edge. When I did it on the side, you notice it was a little off on an angle, I got a, but that's a straight cut. Now, the other advantage to the ramp and for cutting is, can I get up and how do I use the tip? Well, on a regular knife, whoop, that's pretty smooth. Uh, luckily, that's not edge. So I guess I would run up on the edge or on the side and I would try to use the tip or control the tip cutting. Now I can feel I'm sliding on that. Let's try this other one. Again, no teeth up here. I can't control. I have to get weight. advantage to the ramp is I now it's against my finger my finger can actually control where that cut is I can do delicate cutting I could come up and if I'm doing it if I need to do fillet work it's right where I can fillet control from the tip and roll if I have to because my finger controls the blade it can't close on me I can't get caught and I'm able to use the blade to make a cut shift these pieces over here for a minute same kind of thing even on a longer blade because my finger is against the ramp I can control a very delicate part the tip of a little cut, a little cut. Um, we can cut patterns in. So the ramp allows you control. When I design tools, and that's what this is, an inch tool, because people go, oh, you know what I do with a knife? I said, a knife has to be a proper tool. And people show me different ways to cut. And I go, no, no. If you can't control the blade, if you can't make it where you can do delicate delicate tip work, no matter how long the blade. Notice, it also keeps them away from the sharp edge. I can control with rotation what the blade does. I can mount it. I showed you I can cut into it. With the folder, because I can use the ramp, I can sit there and control how deep I want to go and cut precision in circles. Or I can do Pac-Man cutting or I can do almost like where you have the little razor blade cutters and just a little bit of space and go zoop. You have to have a tool that allows you to cut because that's what a knife is, you know. It's a matter separator. It cuts things. It splits matter. Um, it's two inclined planes together. And what it does is it pushes the matter away. And there's micro teeth on there. Now, one of the other things about a blade which most people think about, they want to slash at something, they want to hack at something, they're, they're going really quickly. I just told you it's a matter separator. So the longer this edge is in contact, the deeper it cuts. So, and again, chef cutting. If I can make use of the edge, not how fast, not how hard, 
but how long this edge is in contact, the deeper it will cut. And I, you know, I don't have to go very far. Oop. See, the piece went away, it's cut. It's, and it's not, I'm not slashing at it, I'm just on it, and I'm drawing the edge through. These little guys are trying to escape from me, they don't want to be cut. The edge is what makes it happen. And it's a matter of you applying it. And you watch people, watch them hacking on a cutting board, it's not what you're doing with an edge. There are choppers. The thing is, how long is the edge in contact? If you use an edge properly, it'll cut. And in self-defense, one of the things I have people do is I tell you, make contact, draw the edge through. Don't push it through, don't snap at it, don't see if you can slice really fast at it. Just put it there, just like you do on a cutting board. A good edge tool works in many positions. And you know, shameless plug, I tried to make sure, because I'm an end user, and because my dad did woodworking and did statues and carving, um, the late James Spratt, who was a famous sculptor, when he got this and he went, oh my God, that ramp changes everything. I do all my wax carving, because he carved wax figures before he would make his molds and pour them, you know, in bronze and stuff like that, or in resin. A good edge tool allows you to use it multiple ways. And that's what I tried to design here. So I don't want to say anybody else's doesn't make the, you know, all the way up to snuff, but this one for sure will do lots of things. Try it yourself and you'll see. Cutting isn't playing d'Artagnan and slicing and swinging a blade into whatever. Cutting means I can use it for actual real practical tactical stuff. Cutting food, cutting cloth, cutting rope, carving wood, skinning an animal, filleting things, cutting paper, cutting wire, real projects. If your knife won't do it, well, you should reevaluate your knife. And you have to understand, you should practice. Good thing with swim noodles. Uh, works better than cucumbers, so you can eat cucumbers and you can eat chicken later. Get swim noodles and understand that a proper knife allows you to cut properly. They're matter separators, okay? Don't cut yourself. Be really careful. Try it. Try your knives and see if they'll let you actually do stuff. And then decide what you want to carry, what you want to have in your pocket all the time, okay? Hey, I hope you like that information. Uh, Grandmaster Bram Frank is an uh, awesome nice knife designer, awesome instructor, um, just an all, all around good person. Um, if uh, you want to come and train with him, he's got seminars uh, every now and then. Specifically, we have his birthday bash out here uh, every July. The one that's coming up the most recent is July 12th, 13th, and 14th here in Vancouver, Washington. Uh, if you look in the description below, you'll find a link to uh, the Facebook event as well as the website so you can register. Um, if you have not subscribed already to this uh, channel, subscribe. If you have comments, make a comment. We want to hear what you have to say. Um, and I'm, I'm almost finished. It's, it's, it's this close. So um, more videos to come. I'll see you around.